on everyone the day is finally upon us we got a nice beautiful in-depth look of the sdcc exclusive tmnt three figures from neca neca just solicited them not too long ago on their social media platforms and i wanted to just jump on here show them off a little bit do a fun little deep dive kind of pick them apart a little bit and see what we can figure out while we're looking at them to see how they kind of made these and what we're expecting when it comes to sculpt and everything uh once they release so Without further ado, I guess we'll just jump right into it. Uh, forgot where we are here. There we are. So here's our first look uh, at them and the first solicitation that we've got. And we're getting a mixture of soft goods and we are getting a mixture of a normal sculpt, which is pretty cool. I personally thought they're going to do a lot of soft goods on this and not do a lot of plastic sculpt. But at the end of the day, soft goods are more expensive. So this makes perfect sense. We're going to get essentially two neutral expressions on Leo and Raf, and we get the two kind of smiling, smirking expressions on Donatello and Mikey. If we look at those pretty closely, you can see uh, we've got soft goods on the overlay. We've got a sculpt on the bottom. And then one thing I did notice is they have really long bandanas in this. I don't remember that from the movie, but their bandanas are much longer. They're even longer than the Secret of the Ooze Turtles, which is pretty crazy. Here's another shot of them without their soft goods on. This is essentially a raw shot with them in the full plastic form. Uh, we will go over the Raphael a little bit further in the episode because uh, they do a nice close-up of Raphael in that pose. But we get a nice look at one of the scepters. I believe we have three different scepters that we will be getting in this package with three different paint apps or sculpts, which is pretty cool. You can also see here that their head pieces are removable. This is essentially all of them minus the one with the headpiece. Let's go on to the next. Here's a close look at the Leonardo. And we got something in the eye. Let's go ahead and get that out while we're talking. Good look at Leonardo. Now, one of the things that Trevor said in the um, Toy Anxiety Yes Have Some podcast was that uh, he wanted to make sure that the little black lines under their mask was visible. Because in the movie, they were very prominent. You can tell that those were the eye holes. Um, you can kind of see them in here. It's a little bit of a darker uh, black here. Whether that's a sculpt or if that's going to be a paint app, I'm unsure based on these photos. But I think it's a sculpt, he said, which is pretty cool. Overall, Leonardo's looking great. Now, what I like about these is we remember how awful Leonardo looked in the movies. Uh in plastic form, they just kind of look better, in my opinion. I'm really excited about that, so hopefully you are, too. That is a good-looking head sculpt. Here's Michelangelo. The one thing we all remember from this movie was the ridiculous teeth. Uh, that is the creepiest thing that we've seen on all of these. Uh, and there's Michelangelo with the creepy teeth. Now, in the new um, Loss in 4-pack, Michelangelo's nunchucks were a wire, weren't a wire. They were a string. Looks like we're going back to the wire here. Looks like it's probably just going to be reused from the uh, TMNT uh, 1990 and um, TMNT 2 line. Sorry, I blanked out there for a second. Uh, looking real close at this, though, let's look at that soft goods. Is that a wire? I think that is. I think we got a wire in the soft goods on the bottom, which is going to be pretty awesome. I'm always a fan of uh, wiring in the soft goods. If we look up on his shoulders, you can see some some tattered threading there. Uh, maybe that is just because it's so small. Maybe because these are touch shots. I don't mind that being in the final product since this is a Feudal Japan style. So I'm okay with that. Uh, that's just something to point out just in case you get it and you're like, oh my god, mine's, mine's all threaded and it's all roughed up. Well, maybe that's the way it was supposed to be. It's also really small soft goods. It's hard to make them look perfect when they're that small. Here we've got Raph and Donnie. Uh, similar situation as the Michelangelo photo. However, this one, we have their masks on, which is really cool. I had a couple people tell me that they didn't want to get this set because they didn't like the way the heads looked, which makes sense. But you can also put the mask over them, and all you can see is their bandanas. That's a, that's a win, in my opinion. So these are looking pretty good. Uh, we have a new Raphael-style hand sculpt, I want to say. I feel like it's just a little bit different than what we were used to, where he's got his hand where he can hold the sigh kind of like that i know we've gotten something similar in the past but this one looks a little different to me um specifically on his left hand so maybe we're gonna get a new kind of sculpt there uh with the, well i mean we're getting a new sculpt regardless we've got the extra hand sculpture on there as well not just bare hands now let's look at this one a little closely we can tell that these are going to be single jointed figures we're not going to get double jointed elbows but you can kind of see how seamless 
the elbows are on this going into the arm, the, the bicep to the forearm. Uh, single jointed, I think, is the best way to go here. It's also noticed that you can see that Michelangelo has his nunchucks tucked into his belt. Is that going to work with the other turtles? We don't really know. I'm assuming him and Raphael will have something similar, but you can see between Donatello and Michelangelo, they have two different sculpts for their belts. This is the fun one. So Trevor said that they had sculpted angry faces for the turtles that they just never released, and they were going to release them in this pack, which I am excited about. So if you're not hyped for the TMT3 turtles, you might be hyped for the extra heads. Is it going to be worth the money for you just get extra heads? That's up to you. But we've got some angry faces on here. I'm excited about these specifically because I cannot wait to get some more angry action poses out of them in my photography. Uh, that's something I'm really excited about personally. Uh, one notice is Michelangelo doesn't have a belt on here. Is he, is he naked? When they don't have belts on, does that, does that mean he's naked? I don't even know. But these are pretty awesome. You could also see that they have the two scepters on the table here, two different sculpts. And I believe, like I said, there's a third one we'll get to uh, when they solicit the whole package here very soon. So here's a look at the Raphael. Now, here's a nicer look at the sculpt on the arms where you can see in the elbows, uh, it's a single jointed. Now, the inside is going to be a different color, so it's going to have a little bit of breakup. You can kind of see on his right arm there, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, and then what I think is kind of fun and funny at the same time is you can see how you can easily see the seam on the neck. Now, that's kind of accurate to the movies, which is pretty funny. Um, obviously, it's the angle. Uh, what I thought we were going to get to here is we we're going to talk about the knee joints because uh, this photo I thought showed the knee, jo knee joints, but it doesn't. So let me go back just a little tiny bit to Michelangelo. Uh, we have a full sculpt uh, leg piece here with a single jointed knee, I believe. We might have a single jointed knee underneath this into the, um, the calf and everything. So we're only going to probably get 90 degrees out of this. If they did a double joint, we'll probably still only get 90 degrees. It depends on how that back sculpt is. Uh, we can kind of think about... Um, the human splinter figure or the um, Usagi Ojimbo as an example of what that sculpt would look like. That's what I'm getting from this here. Let's move on a little bit. There's our full solicitation. Uh, we've got all four turtles. We've got all four extra heads. We've got all their weapons. Uh, we have the three scepters, and it looks like I said there are three different ones. One just looks like it has a different paint app, so it might be the same sculpt, different paint app. We've got the four masks. We have all the extra hands, which are awesome. And then we've got two um, swords, kind of like sabers. And I think those are pretty awesome. Um, those will be really neat if you've got the McFarlane horse. Uh, these fit very well on the McFarlane horse if you want to kind of recreate scenes from the movie or have them in your display that way. You're going to be able to do that pretty well. So there's our full look uh, on all of these new SDCC exclusive figures. Do we know when they're going up for pre-sale? No, they haven't said shit yet. Do we know how much they're going to cost? No, they haven't said shit yet. So I, I lied. I lied. 150 bucks. I'm sitting here saying they haven't said anything yet. It's literally on the post. It's 150 bucks. So 150 bucks. Is that a good deal to you? In me, in, in me opinion, in me opinion, in my opinion, yes. Uh, because I just bought the Lawson four pack, which is just four turtles with the same sculpt, just like this, with limited accessories for $150. And this has way more going on than that does for 150 bucks plus the extra head sculpts this is going to be a great price i told everybody i'm ex i'm assuming 175 to 200 because of the soft goods but i was wrong so 150 and those will be a san diego comic-con exclusive we will probably get some kind of pre-order or something in the here in the near future uh coming up so we can get them ordered i don't know if they're going to be delivered right away they might be one of those pre-order now we'll make them and then we'll send them out Later on, don't know if they're going to be at SDCC yet. Uh, we'll find out more information soon. But I just wanted to get this video out while it was still fresh. Thank you for jumping in. Hopefully, we'll record a Party Wagon podcast here sometime soon. Last week got scrapped. I had loose lips, and I don't want to possibly get in trouble. So maybe this week. We'll see. But as always, thank you, everyone, for jumping in, stopping by. Take care.